United States Navy, the floating forts of America's first line of defense. From the Atlantic, from Nome to Norfolk, from Guam to Guantanamo, wherever our flag waves over water, there our fighting fleet is prepared to go. But preparation takes practice. So periodically, the various units of our naval forces engage in tactical maneuvers designed to accustom every ship from keel to fighting top, geared to battle trim. No one knows if or when or where an emergency might arise. But over a century and a half of glorious tradition have pledged the Navy to constant preparedness. So as the fleet takes to the seaway for maneuvers, they're out to show the world that they are fit to fight. to the war games, the fleet is in battle order. In the vanguard, the destroyers, sleek, swift, relentless, keep watch for submarines or enemy service craft. As advanced scouts or convoy vessels, it is their duty to act as feelers for the fleet, the backbone of which has always been the battleship. America's super dreadnoughts, a gray iron bulwark for defense of our homeland. of the fleet are its aircraft. Launched from the deck of the larger ships, seaplanes perform invaluable reconnaissance work and are especially useful for detecting submarines only from great height their own length. Washing their bows with white water, the destroyers bow ahead to contact the mythical foe. It will be their orders to harass the enemy and divert their fire, so that the heavier and more versatile cruisers can engage them in actual battle. They must pave the way for the arrival of slower ships with superior armor and firepower. The destroyers are the shock troops of the sea. On they steam, a pencil mark on the Admiral's chart marks their destination. But American science and seamanship makes the difference between sailing on... Submarine sighted, and down the chute go the deadly depth bombs. Because the underwater detonation might spring her own hull plates, the boat has to pile on plenty of knots and leave the ash cans far in her wake before their timing device explodes them. The commander of each ship has previously been acquainted with his position in the battle order. His speed and course have been carefully plotted in advance. Here is no place for the reckless tactics of a privateer. Hollywood heroics would make these scientifically planned maneuvers nothing but a futile and expensive excursion trip. Indeed, any deviation from orders might mean disaster. For the battle honors are slight to the ship caught in crossfire or collision. But whether a ship is allowed in the thick of action or not,